Hi, it's Jenny from Jenny 20 Designs and I have a quick little tutorial today to share with you how to make a handkerchief out of any scrap fabrics that you have hanging about. Now this is an heirloom quality sewing. In fact, as I was trying to take the pictures, I was doing most of my sewing one-handed. So I think you'll be able to whip these up quickly and enjoy them. Uh, I needed something to dab some tears for a memorial service I was going to. But of course, we all have those moments where we just need to grab for something in our handbag to wipe away a tear or whatever. And I thought, oh, I've got this luscious wall hanging around from a project that I had already completed. This is perfect. I will use it. This is from Anna Maria Horner's Innocent Crush line. It's actually perfect for hiding mascara stains. But if your husband has a shirt he's still mustard on that you can't get out, use it. Any scrap back fabric is fine. I just really like the luxury of the voile. So cut out any size. It doesn't matter. I had a weird shaped scrap, so I just went with it. Just clean up your edges no matter what you do. Uh, if you do want a traditional size, a lady's handkerchief is 8 inch square, which mine is totally not 8 inches square, or a men's hanky is usually a 12 inch square. And once you kind of have the edges cleaned up, and you can see some selvage there, it's okay to have that because it'll be folded in. Just give it a press. I didn't want to starch it because I like the softness. This is a great tool. If you don't have it, you definitely need it, unless you have asbestos fingers like me. And you can choose a larger hem, but one quarter inch worked great for me. So you fold and press once to one quarter of an inch. And once you're done with that, you kind of take it while it's still warm and fold that one quarter over again. So you're kind of hiding all of the rough edges. And you can do a quick little finger press and then go back with your iron. Then you choose your next side and you can see that selvage hanging out there and do the press first and then press it again into itself and you just do that all around right no fancy mitered corners here again this is an heirloom sewing it's just practical sewing I don't pin I hate pinning um, so I just choose an easy stitch length no decorative stitch and I just started if you wanted to pin this would be a great place to pin just sew that seam to where you are making sure everything is caught. When you approach the corners, if you're in the pinless school of sewing like I am, just approach with caution, maybe slow down, keep your needle down, and then all four sides, you're done, cut your strings, and you have a hanky of some shape. Hopefully yours is a little more perfect than mine. I was sewing one-handed here for this tutorial, but I think it turned out well. I used it well, and um, even your sausagey little fingers like mine can pick it up easily out of your handbag and when you need it, hopefully only for happy tears. I packaged one up for my friend who has uh, some <laughs> crazy allergies lately. I just put it in a little glassine envelope. I stuck it in a card just with a little sweet note saying, I hope you'll use this only to dry happy tears, not sad ones. But as you can see, this is a really quick little project. You can use any fabric of your choice. 100% cotton is probably best. Scrap fabric, even better. You can find me at jenny20.etsy.com and on Twitter to learn more about my crazy life.